Hello friends, welcome back to the course of CICD uh, for automation testers. Uh, in this session, I'll be talking on how we can download and install Docker. Now, Docker, in my last video, I talked about what is Docker. Docker is just a containerization platform. So on Docker, what we will be doing, we will be getting different containers for Selenium, for your browsers, and then we will be running our test cases on your Docker machines okay so let's see how we can download and install the docker okay so we can download the docker from uh, in fact a docker toolbox i'll let you know uh, from this url okay so if you go to your browser let me open my firefox i'll just show you from where you can get it so you can just give like docker install The very first URL is docs.docs.docker.com slash install. So this is a Docker help. Okay. So here you can find different things. So uh, how you can install the Docker. So how you can you can install the Docker on cloud. So on cloud we have a couple of options like Docker for AWS, Docker for Azure. Then you can install it on Linux on different machines. You can install it on Mac. Then you can install it on Windows as well. Okay. So uh, Docker doesn't support directly your Windows operating system and Mac operating system whereas Docker directly supports only Linux okay so by, by taking the use of Hyper-V uh, we can install it on your Microsoft Windows so if I just click on Microsoft Windows here you can see some of the uh, system requirement okay so uh, it, it is giving you some readme readme first for Docker toolbox and Docker machine users okay so here they are saying like uh, what are your system requirement you should have windows 10 64 bit pro enterprise or education and should have latest update okay and virtualization should be enabled in your bias okay and this is different from having your hyper v should be enabled okay hyper v there is a concept of hyper v hypervisor in your windows which allows you to use virtualization okay uh, so that you can use different virtualization uh, on your machine okay so and uh, next is you should have at least 4 gb of ram okay so these are the some prerequisite okay if like you do not have this windows 10 64 bit with latest update or you do not have hyper v enabled then you can just go for this docker toolbox okay so i'll just go to docker toolbox okay and from here you can get a docker toolbox from get a docker toolbox for windows okay so if you want to you install it for mac just go here if you want to install it for linux in linux you can just install it with uh, some pull commands okay so I, I wanted to get it for windows so i'll get it a docker toolbox for windows and i can download this docker toolbox okay so uh, i'm not going to save it since i already have it uh, on my machine i have downloaded it already so but this is the one this is the setup which you need docker toolbox okay so see if you are not using docker toolbox and if you are using uh, the, the this version of uh, docker for windows okay then you need to have uh, what i can say a hypervisor and virtualization enabled okay but uh, if you are using this uh, toolbox which we just downloaded in that case we do not need it okay so now what you can do is once you have downloaded it okay so you can find docker toolbox.exe i already have it okay so once you have downloaded it just install it as just as like your normal software okay so just click next next whatever accept terms and condition and just run it with uh, install it with all default options okay and once you are done with docker installation you will you will get an option for docker for windows which is your installed application so now i am going to click on docker for windows okay and I should see something here okay so here you can see docker desktop is running okay docker desktop is running so you will get this option once your docker is installed okay now what you can do is just go to your command prompt okay and you can just just check if docker is installed or not so what you can do is docker hyphen v okay which will give you the docker version so my current docker version is docker version 
18.09.0 with this build okay so if i get this message that means my docker is successfully installed on my machine okay so we will be talking about different commands in docker and how we can uh, install the different softwares in my docker machine itself okay so when i say installing different software so let us say now what my aim is my aim is to run my selenium test cases through selenium grid okay and i want to have mozilla firefox and chrome installed on my docker okay because i want to run test cases on it right so what what i want to do is i want to install them into my docker but in docker we do not call it as install okay because in docker we do not have setup as such we call it as a images okay so if you remember something from my last session uh, we write some like developer write some docker file which which are just a kind of uh, uh, what i can say instructions uh, what and all packages what and all things you need in your particular package and once that particular package i mean the actual application and what, whatever whatever the actual things you want to ship all those things are ready all those things will get packaged and they, they are termed as images okay so i want to install some software that means i want to run some images i want to get some images okay and from where i can get these images so we have something called as docker hub okay okay so we have hub.docker.com which is my docker hub okay and docker is uh, you can see here is a service provided for sharing the container images okay so as i said we will be using the images okay and from where you can get the images from docker hub so as like how we have selenium grid which we use to share the um, our code our repositories so on the same line to share the images we have something called as docker hub okay so this docker hub has public as well as private so private is paid and public is free so if you're using it in your organization that should be paid because your software uh, i i mean your software will be there in your images okay so now let us say what i want i want to install wordpress okay so for wordpress we have different containers okay so the uh, we'll see most popular container okay the first one itself okay so if if you want to get this wordpress in your uh what i can say in your docker machine then you how you can get it you can get it by using simple command called as docker pull and your uh image name this is the command which you can give let me just let me just show you uh okay let me just show you docker uh, let me copy it okay so if i just give docker pull wordpress what it is saying is using default tag latest okay so that means it is finding out the latest version of my wordpress until and unless i give the version it will give the latest one okay and now it is downloading something it is pulling from library slash word space okay and you can see it has some size and it is downloading something right so uh, it, it takes some time to download okay so i'm not going to download this at all okay uh, whatever i wanted i have already downloaded i uh, don't download it and i'll tell you how you can download because the downloading will take some time okay so i'm not going to show you like uh, i'm not going to wait till this complete download okay but this is the channel docker hub is the channel from where you can get your actual images which you want to work on okay so okay and let us say if you want to share your images let us say i'm a developer i have created the docker file and from docker file i have created the docker image for my application uh, and i want to ship it i want to give it to my testers i want to give it to my uat team i want to give it to my deployment team how can i share it I may have some uh, internal, uh, what I can say, internal mechanism in my organization from where I can share. But like, like how we use GitHub, so likewise, th there is something centralized repository given by Docker, okay, which can be used for sharing the images. Again, it is public as well as private, uh, just as same like how your 
github is okay so uh, that's it for this video so i okay so let me just show you a couple of uh, commands over here so uh, let me check if it is already running okay it is already running what i'll do is i'll just finish this video and in my next video i'll show you about all these commands okay thank you